Well, I'm a little spider spinning my web And I'll say hello if you cross my thread And I'll wrap you up and take you in Won't care where you're going, won't care where you've been Spiderweb Spiderweb, written in the fall of 1986. I vaguely remember sitting up in the attic at Bob the Beak's Attic Studios and sitting by a window, and it was a rainy, like, Sunday afternoon, and you could hear the drizzle. And if you listen to the recording, I think you can hear, like, a, a car coming down a the rainy street outside, the wet street, like um, It's pretty much all I remember from that long time ago. It's a song about, about um, relationships, about life, from the perspective of a spider. And we'll get do the doctor, Dr. Shank who uh, teaches over at the university part-time, English 101 comp, and I think a 300 level course. We'll get him to explain the lyrics. <laughs> That's me. Why don't I break the song down? Four basic chords. The A. And actually we're capoed up on the first fret. I think that's how it was done in the recording. The reason we capoed up back then on, on a lot of the songs was that I had an Ibanez Artist acoustic guitar, I think it was, and it had real high action, so if you capo up a fret or two, it made the playing of the chords easier. That was the, one of the main reasons for using a capo back then. It wasn't uh, for, to, to accommodate the vocal range. Four basic chords, the A. This A is played with the index finger on the G string. Reason being, some, well, some people use a bar like this, some people play it one, two, three, down like this, all in a row, which is kind of weird to me. I've always played it like this. Reason being, you can switch right up to a D, you can pivot, leaving that index finger on the G string, okay? And you can also slide down to an E chord, okay, and just slide back up. So it it makes the move moving to those different chords easier, in my opinion. All right, the song itself, the A chord to a D chord, and we do that bounce in the verse. Ba da da ba da da ba da da ba ba da da ba da ba ba da ba. Oh, it changes to a B minor here. Okay, so we've got an A to a D, an A to a D, an A to a D, to a B minor, to an E. That's our four chords. I guess what I sang earlier is more or less the chorus. Uh, the, the verses do the same re repetitive pattern. Uh, it's not a complex song. It's, it's actually a, a nice song for if you're just strumming the chords for, uh, you know, a beginning slash early guitar type of song to learn. If you get into the more complex areas of it, it would be the right hand um, movements, which, if I can remember... It's just a, a pattern like that. It's an you're hitting the the chord note, the root note here. In this case, even though we're fretted, we're going to call this the A. It's really a B flat. And there's that pattern. It's so the finger picking method for the A chord is really just a. It almost mimics the the lyric the lyric rhythm. I'm a do 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 do
that's thumb, thumb, middle finger, index finger. Thumb A, thumb D, in middle finger on the B string, index finger on the G string. Now from the A to the D, the D sticks on these three strings. And I usually play that D string with the thumb, G string with the thumb, and then I throw these two guys in, the middle and the middle finger and the index, to come back from the B to the G. little pattern to, to practice on to, to and switching with the left hand between the two chords. If you can see this. Okay. That same pattern repeats on the D chord. If you put those together, you get Take it a step further to the B minor chord, the same pattern. B st or A string, D string, middle finger on the B string index finger on the G string. And me, I'm resting my pinky on the, the E string here. So it's all the same finger picking pattern. And again, down to the E, same pattern but we're doing the low E string, the D string, now that's, that's the main pattern. There are parts in the song where it probably goes off the tracks as far as that pattern goes, and I know in a couple of uh, spots there where we hold the E chord, we're, we're doing this kind of thing. And that's just using these three fingers and get that effect. But most of the song is the same right hand finger picking pattern. Hitting the bass notes with your thumb and using these two guys. Well gosh, you have to love the lighting in here. I guess Mr. Vague is, is looking for a, a more um, what, what kind of atmosphere would you call it? Dimly lit, almost like candlelight. He's just got a little lamp over there, a little, it's like an oriental type of a lamp. Um, cozy, is that the right word? It gives it a cozy type of, um, like you're sitting next to a fireplace and eating, eating some s'mores or, and sipping some hot chocolate. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't know. That's nice. Anyway, spider web. Okay. This is an interesting song. If you if you dig deep into the lyrics, it's kind of yeah, interesting. It's you can look at it a couple of different ways. You gotta watch out for this. Well, I'll read what I have on this official, official lyric sheet. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Well, it says spiderweb. 25 September 1986, apparently Mr. Vague wrote this in one day. Maybe in a few minutes, I don't know. Well, I'm a little spider spinning my web and I'll say hello if you cross my thread. I'll wrap you up and take you in. I won't care where you're going, won't care where you've been. Now, did you think about that when I read it? I'm a little spider spinning my web. So this is a, a friendly little spider spinning his web, okay, making a little spider web. And if you cross my thread, I'll wrap you up and take you in. I won't care where you're going, won't care where you've been. But the thing about spiders is, when they wrap something up, another buggy bug, what do they do with it? They eat the other bug, okay? Mr. Big is kind of spinning the spider web, spinning the spider story around a little bit here. He's saying he's going to be a friendly spider. He'll wrap you up, but he uses that wrapping up as a friendly, warm blanket type of wrapping up, okay? That kind of threw me for a looper, you know? A cyclone looper. Remember that? Oh, what a great mini pedal. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, but I just don't like bugs. A spider found in my boot. I'll give it the boot. Let's see. The next verse, or if that was the chorus, this would be the first verse. Well, I don't know. I don't know. The chorus and the verses are kind of intermingled in here. And if you're a nice bug and you don't feed me a line, see the little word trickery there? Don't feed me a line, spider web spinning a line, okay? He's playing with words here, Mr. J. Thinks he's clever. I've seen this before. I teach English over at the college, okay? So, I'll be glad you're around and I'll make you feel fine. So if you're a nice bug and you don't feed me a line, I'll be glad you're around and I'll make you feel fine. And if you have to go, I'll understand. Go spin your web in another land. Maybe our paths will cross one day, and I'll climb in your web and we'll smile the day away. Smile. So, he's saying kind of haphazardly, if you get into my space and you're a nice bug, I'll take you in. We can be friends, okay? And maybe... Maybe that's the situation that was happening when this song was written, or maybe after it, because, well, let's see what else comes next. I can't read, you know, I don't know, you know. Oh, here we go. Oh, a few years ago, they were all around. So many people in my spiderweb town. So here, everything's happy. Nice little spiderweb town. Some were good spiders, with hearts I could feel, but some were bad spiders. And my time, they would steal. Okay, so Mr. Veg, here in these lyrics, is pointing out that there's nice spiders and there's nasty spiders. You gotta watch out for the nasty spiders. These bad spiders, this is the next verse. These bad spiders at first, they seemed so kind, I'd walk into their arms and I'd lose my mind. So you, you get drawn into that false sense of safety and happiness, and you go with the spider flow. But this might turn out to be a bad spider. But, so this is after he'd lose his mind, blah, 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 blah. But they'll wrap you up and spit you out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And they'll leave you lonely without a doubt. So these bad spiders, if you get involved with them, they'll suck you in, chew you up, and spit you out. Kind of the way a regular spider would <laughs> do it anyway, right? Uh, so that's kind of, at least this is the lyric sheet that I have. If you listen to the recording, and I'm sure Mr. Vague will put the link in, in the description of the video. And if you listen to that, maybe it's... 
Maybe it's different than this, the way I have it written here, but these all flow together. And there's a last little two line, um, a few sentences here, the last that I have written down. Oh, where did they all go? Where have they gone? Have I been in my spider web too long? So this is interesting to you. The spider is asking himself or herself, oh, where did all of my friends go? All the people I used to hang out down on Main Street with, where have they gone? Have I been in my spider web too long? This makes me think that this is the spider saying, hmm, I've been sitting here in this spider web. There's been bad spiders. There's been good spiders. I think it's time for me to get out of Dodge, okay? Now, did uh, somebody mention a Dodge? Uh, I, I drive a Ford F-150 pickup truck. And I don't mean go see Tex Two Stone or whatever his name is. I mean just get out of here and go to a different place. Meet some new spiders. I think that's what's going on here. So. Now, did he say two stones? I'll give him two stones. I know he said that he's, Mr. Begg said that he sings it for kids and stuff, but it's, it's a lot deeper than that, okay? It's, it's very interesting. It's, a, it's an interesting lyric. So, like you said, it's about relationships, bad, good, and life, okay? Anyway, if you ever have questions for me, if you ever have questions for me, leave them in the comments, Dr. Shank, okay? Anyway, that is Spiderweb. It's a nifty Mr. Vague song from way back when. Well, I hope you enjoyed my analysis of the lyrics. Um, thanks for, thanks for joining. Bye. Yeah, it's more like a kitty song to me, you know, I, I don't know. Wow, that Dr. Shank, that's a darn good analysis. This song is very, 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 very likable. Uh, brewery, I... I wouldn't request it, no way. You ain't gonna hear me asking for that tune. Uh, not one of my favorites, man, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Spectacular. Well, I'm a little spider spinning my web and I'll say hello if you cross my thread. And I'll wrap you up and take you in. Won't care where you're going.